Good day guys, Bing here. So yesterday we uh, modeled this uh, pattern based family and today um, today we are going to uh, use a different method to um, to model this because so I'll, I'll explain to you so why we need to use a different method so if I create so here I'm going to create a new mass okay so I'm use, going to use reference in a spark so oh, here oh hell sorry um, wrong work plan so set work plan first I'm going to set um, to the level one okay so reference one two three one two three one two three so now i'm going to create a organic shape a mass so roughly so i'll just roughly do it like this okay so so you see this is a three uh, reference line so we do it like this and then select them and create form so this is a more organic shape uh, mass so so pr instead of so previously so if I you will see this is not organic shape it's a more a very uh, straight um, shape but this one so if I use divided surface and I'll change this to now if I and then if I use this and you will see it's not uh, perfect yeah this will take a little while um, okay okay if you see uh, if you look closely so you will see it here where uh, the pattern so this is a pattern and you can see the overlapping but uh, uh, they just missed each other so not like this one they match at the edge but this one so you will see it's not so there's a gap here a gap here right and also um, let me just let me try I'll try to change this to zero. Okay, zero. So, um, and and see what happens. Okay. So, and you will see it will not follow this. Although the mass is a uh, organic shape. But because we our uh, um, the families actually only you know it's a straight so start from these two uh, adapting adapting points to these two so only we can we can only control control the curve by um, by using this parameter okay and it will not match the actual curve of this so if, if we want to change the curve of this mass it won't affect this at all so okay so I'll just um, I'll delete this okay and today I'm going to show you another method so very close very similar to that but not pattern based family it will be a, a adaptive family okay so let's start so first family so adaptive go to um, adaptive family so we will need so let's let's bring out the uh, let's just have a look of this image so um, so this is the same exactly the same to the one we did yesterday but today we're going to use uh, adaptive fam ad ad adaptive point. So we're going to need one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten adaptive p 
points. So point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so select them, make adaptive. Okay, so now we just need to manually connect all these uh, points to create all the reference reference lines we need. Okay, so just do it one by one. And and okay, so now um, we need to connect three and four. So yesterday we used the distance between 1 and 2 and 9 and 10 to work out roughly the distance. But today, because they are all adaptive points, we can just get a distance from these two. So, spline reference line. <coughs> and also, I'll just um, connect these points as well. Okay, so now, place a point. So, uh, if you remember yesterday, we, we just placed a point on this reference line and another one here. And then select them and create, a, change this to segment length, create a, a parameter. Let's call it offset, offset one. Okay, instance, okay, and okay. So now, because we have these two uh, adaptive points, we can just, de oh, oh, sorry, before we dimension set work plan, pick this reference line and dimension these two points and we can create them, we can call it W1 instance and the reporting and go to family types so we can so we can just type in W1 okay so um, actually you will see it quite it, it, relative to the length uh, the width is a little bit too big we can just move them closer okay closer closer yep that's better. Now we can select these two points, spline, reference line, and create create another point in the middle. Okay, so that's it. And then another two points, select them, segment length, create a parameter, OF, OFS2, instance, OK, and OK. So set work plan, uh, set work plan, pick this reference line, dimension, these two points, and create W2 instance, reporting, and OK. Go to family types, so type in W2, and OK. So the last two, so one, two, select these two points, segment length, and change this to, that, oh, sorry, offset three, and instance. Okay, so if you don't understand what I'm doing now, so go uh, just check the video uh, yesterday. So I explain what we are doing here. So, so for this two, this one, so set and dr dimension, and this will be w3. Okay, instance reporting, and of course here, so uh, the offset will be smaller. So w3 divided by three. Apply. Okay, so now we can. Oh, sorry, I forgot to create this uh, reference line and place a point drawn face and um, this middle point. So these two points, <coughs> sprite <coughs> reference line point middle point. Okay, so now we can connect all these these points. So first one, two spline reference line, this one and this one spline reference line and this this one and this one spline and reference line this one and this one spline and reference line so this one this one spline reference line this one this one spline reference line so we need more points so middle points here middle points here middle points here middle points here and we will need middle points here and the 0 to 5 so, uh, so select this point change it to dot point two five so this one will be point 
epsilon 5. And now connect all these points. So once again, so you can check the uh, yesterday's videos. Um, I explain, explained how uh, why and how we get all these um, the point these points <coughs> and connect these two spline reference line, this one and this one spline and reference line. And this one and this one spline and reference line. This one to the middle point spline reference line. And this one, this one spline reference line. Okay, so now this is all the points. So you can adjust the points if you want to. It won't affect anything. Okay, so now we have all the reference line we need. So now we can just go. Um, go back to so this is the one we did yesterday so um, it's basically two po points adaptive points with uh, two profile okay so let's just load this into um, this but this is family 10 so this is family 7 let's load this into family 10 and we can place it on this shape so se once again se tab se okay se se tab sorry not se as uh let's do it again se se tab se se tab se se tab oops no one and also we don't need this sorry <laughs> uh let's do it as the start se se tab se se tab se S E tab, S E, 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 S E tab, oops, S E, S E tab, S E, S E tab, S E, S E tab, S E, S E tab. Okay, so S E, S E tab. S E S E tab S E S E tab S E S E tab S E S E tab. Okay, so that's all. Um, oh hell, we need oh we missed oh, we missed two S E S E tab S E S E tab. Okay, I think we uh uh another two here. S E S E tab S E S E tab. <coughs> Uh, I think that's all we need. Okay, so now, okay, so now let's have a look at this mass. So first, divide surface, and we need to change this to um, full. Yep, full. So, so you will see now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. So select this divide surface. Go. And check the nodes. Check on the nodes. So now we can go back and load this into that family. Okay, so now we can place the this. So you can just go place one, two, three, four. You don't need to wait, you can just place all the pawn. And and wait. Okay, so now we can wait. It will take uh, a few seconds, I think. And once uh, this one's done, we can repeat it and place it all to uh, over this uh, mass. Yep, that's it. Escape. So now you you can see. So this is the adaptive family that follows this uh, um, the mass, right? And if you select this one and click on repeat, and you just need to wait an, another a few seconds, I think. Yeah, 
depending on the compli complicate um, what, what's the word complicacity. <laughs> yeah, so this will take a little while if it, your your model is quite uh, big. Okay, so now this is it. So this is a different method. So uh, compared to the the one we used yesterday, we the one we used yesterday is I think it's this one. What? Right? Yep. So we can it's we control. Uh, it's a flat. The the face is actually flat. We control the the curve by um, adjusting the this offset in the uh, we build in the family. And this will be a quite a regular shape. So uh, even the curve is all um, very regular. Okay, but this one you can create a, a more organic shape, and then you can apply, you can place this adaptive family onto this shape. Okay, so that's that's it. The two different methods for this uh, pattern. Okay, so if you have any question. Please let me know. I'll upload all these uh, uh, families on, um, um, so you, onto onto my uh, uh, Google Drive, so you can have a look. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.